<laughs> hey guys, um, so I'm back and I'm ready to play a little bit more Minecraft uh, Vault Hunters with my friends. So let's uh, log into the into the uh, world real quick and see uh, what's been going on uh, while I've been away for a little bit on the on the Minecraft Vault Hunter uh, server. So, um, so okay. So we're uh, we're in the we're in the world now, and um, so it looks like uh, Johnny Tar has. I mean, my friends have uh, given me uh, back my my funny my funny skull uh, decoration. So I'm really happy to see uh, that these are uh, back. Um, and uh, we still have uh, the mushroom the mushrooms going strong. I think that maybe what we can do uh, is uh, we can we can work a little little bit on the uh, mushrooms uh, today and get a couple more of, of them so. Uh, yeah, let's go and, and try to uh, do that now. So we're walking up to um, to the to the house now, um, and it looks like these uh, signs have are, are not pitch black anymore. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's go upstairs and. And there, there he is himself. Um, there is my friend. Uh, he has a pretty long uh, sword. If you uh, look at that sword, um, hold on. If I stand, uh, if I if I stand uh, right next to him, um, if he stands still uh, for me, real quick, uh, we can compare swords. Um, take your sword out. And let's compare lengths. Pretty please. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get him to stand against the wall. Okay, if we can get, uh, okay, here we go. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, my friend has a pretty long uh, sword, um, and I'm a, it makes me feel a little bit insecure, guys. But um, I'm I'm really looking forward to uh, getting a sword uh, as long as him. Um, so let's go do some vaults, uh, and and then uh, we're gonna and and that's gonna be uh, one of our goals. <laughs> Hey guys, so um, me, me and my friend, uh, we're gonna go and do um, a vault uh, together, um, and I'm gonna take you guys um, through the journey. So let's just walk into into my house, and um, and so we're gonna use um, one of these uh, Jo crystals that I have created, um, which. One. Um, I'm gonna see which, uh, which, which, which Jo crystal do you want to run? I wonder. I it, I wonder which Jo won. Anything but scab. So. Okay, so we're gonna use this Jo crystal. Um, let me put my let me put my skull uh, down real quick, and I'm gonna grab these skulls later. Um, temporary 
skull back. Please respect. Okay. Um, now I need to make sure that um, my my inventory and my weapons are all ready. So this is what I like to do um, when I'm preparing for my vaults. Um, I like to make sure that I have all of my uh, things uh, ready. So let me just find my uh, shelter boxes real quick um, because I left them uh, over here with my clocks. And I'm just gonna grab my uh, shulkers and if Johnny, I mean my friend, oh, okay, now I have all of my shulkers and now we're gonna uh, do the vault together. And this is gonna be really fun because um, I haven't done a vault with, um, with my friend in a couple of days. And this vault says that it's a wealthy vault. So I'm really looking forward to making a little bit of money um, uh, with my friend. So let's go and uh, tackle this vault. So um, the first thing that I like to do um, in vaults, guys, and I haven't played vaults in a little while, is I like to make sure to uh, leave the, uh, the starting room like that. And um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down here um, with, with my friend, and um, and he's gonna and he's gonna he's gonna trap me in here. But that's okay because um, because I can just um, I can just uh, I can just get out by mining uh, the blocks that he just placed. And see now I have. Um, now I have um, some more blocks that I can use later in the vault. So now um, I can't tell which way that he went, but he probably went that way. So I'm going to go this way because he doesn't like to mark which way he goes. Um, and it makes it kind of confusing, but um, he's my friend though, so I think that I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it slide. So yeah, he hasn't been in this room, so um, let's just uh, let's go through this uh, real quick because um, I I need to I'm gonna go that way next, but um, so we have a lot of monoliths that we need to activate. So um, we need to be a little bit uh, uh, fast uh, about um, this vault. This skeleton kind of has a lot of uh, a lot of health, and that was kind of annoying. But let me just toss my uh, arrow up there. I guess. We'll just climb up and explode this creeper like that, which is okay. Um, so um, what I like to do with the mining sections is I like to mine the the vaulted cobblestone with my with my regular pickaxe, and then after that i like to mine the minerals afterwards with my silk touch pickaxe so that i can give them to my friend later so that he can mine them with his uh fortune uh pickaxe uh, upgrades so that way we get lots of uh, minerals so let me just mine these and then heal up and um it looks like um, he's found one monolith so far, and I haven't, but um, that's okay because I'm going to be carrying my weight uh, pretty soon here. Um, I'm a little bit slow to get going, but once I get ramped up, I can really, uh, I can really lay down the, the hammer pretty well. As you can see with how fast that I'm starting to mine some of these 
uh, and, and get through some of these uh, objectives here. So um, I'm going to go back this way and I'm going to mine my uh, cool looking block uh, again here because I don't want to miss out on some of these cool blocks. And now, uh, well, I need to go. Uh, I need to go downwards first, actually, because um, see, I knew that there was going to be a monolith right here, so I'm just going to activate that real quick so that my friend doesn't yell at me later for not activating any monoliths. Um, it looks like I'm getting uh, ganked from the behind, but but luckily um, I built my character like a tank. Um, let me show you my stats real quick. Um, and you can see that I have last stand, which basically makes me invincible because it gives me a lot of resistance at low HP. So I'm really, I've been really using that to my advantage in this vault so far. And um, it looks like I really need to uh, deposit some of my blocks away into this, uh, into my shulker real quick. So let me do that. And then I'm gonna get back to mining. And and I'm probably going to do a little bit of jumping and cutting here, so please um, bear with me while I do that. There seems to be a lot of mining opportunities um, in this vault, which is really cool. I think it's because this is a desert vault, and um, in, some, in the desert... That was the wrong pickaxe, but that's okay. The desert vaults uh, seem to have a lot of mining opportunities compared to some of the other vaults, which is really cool. So um, that's what I really like about the desert vaults. So let's let's go over to this next mining quarry real quick. And you, as you see, the enemies die really quickly. And that's because I'm kind of a beast at Minecraft uh, Vault Hunters. So let's just mine out uh, this quarry too. So now that we've mined out all the quarries, we're going to go uh, back up. And um, I need to disable my magnet and then drop off some junk items like this sand, this cobbled sand, this sandstone the sand, the rocky sand, the rails, the cactus, the cobblestone, the red sandstone, the acacia slab, the terracotta, the acacia logs, and then now I think that we're good to go. So now let's continue and go this way, that I, this, the way that I said that I was going to go. So looking through here, I'm really looking for a monolith to activate because that would be really good in helping us get out of the vault. But it looks like there's just a bunch of enemies, unfortunately, and a couple of chests. But the cool thing about the chests, though, is that although they're not what I'm looking for. At least they have a little bit of uh, loot in them. So let's just spawn these uh, enemies here and then lead them to us so that we can uh, smack them off and then get their loot right here. like Johnny Tar has found uh, another monolith, so I'm really hoping that I can find one, uh, the last one, because uh, the most important monolith is the last monolith, because the last monolith, as you can see when I activated that monolith, that allows us to leave uh, the vault, so... Um, because I activated the last one, we can get out of here. Um, so um, what that means is that I really uh, helped out a lot by activating that. 
if I didn't activate that monolith, then we would not have been able to leave the vault. So um, I really hope that um, later uh, Johnny Tar really, or I mean my my friend, um, thanks me for what I've uh, done here today. But actually, I'm kind of. Um, he doesn't really need to thank me because um, I don't really need it, actually, now that I think about it. Um, I think I'll be okay, even if uh, he just ignores um, the help that I've provided him in this vault. Um, but that's okay either way. Um, that's, the, that's the really, uh, you know, beautiful thing about life is that whether he notices my contribution to the vault or not, uh, life just, you know, it, life moves on and um, that's just a beautiful thing about um, Minecraft vault hunters. able to kill seven monsters at this uh, statue, then we'll fully charge it, um, but it looks like there's not enough monsters to fully charge um, that statue, unfortunately. So let's, let's just take our loot and get a little bit organized here. Um, because I have so much loot, I need to start um, putting it into my uh, shulker box here, which is basically a, a portable chest. Because I've put all of my items in there, now I can start looting the rest of these chests right here. And then I can, and then I can get out of here afterwards. This is a really important item right here. This is called the crate of carrots, and we're gonna need a couple of these um, to give to my friend. Um, and they're uh, they're using the these crates of carrots in their house, so we're gonna try to uh, grab as many of them as possible so that um, they can use them in their house. Yeah, because there's a couple more over here. And these chests don't really mean a whole lot, but the the carrots mean a whole lot more. So let's let's go this way some more. We came from over there and we still have eleven minutes left in this vault. So let's head into this room and see uh, what this room has in store for me. One of the cool things about Vault Hunters is that um, at, at every, just about in any uh, location, you're gonna fight, you're gonna face uh, enemies just here and there. They're always ready to come after you when you're least uh, expecting them. So you really have to be on your guard when you're playing Minecraft Vault Hunters. But because, uh, because my character is so strong, um, I don't really have to worry a whole lot about these enemies because I can just, um, I can just hit them with my sword and then they pretty much can't do any they pretty much just like can't do anything because because when I hit them uh, with my sword they're basically just pushovers this is a really uh, important um, area right here. This ha there's a lot of really cool stuff here, so I'm gonna take my time in looting 
uh, this area right here with the remainder of my nine minutes and 32 seconds. It's always important in Vault Hunters to take uh, the, the most important blocks that you can find in the vaults because when you do that, then you can take them home and then use them later, such as uh, this statue right here. It's pretty important to pick that up so that I can use it later in my base. There's also a lot of coins in this vault, which is really helpful because you're going to need coins to buy things in Vault Hunters too. These mummies are kind of tanky, um, I'm not really going to lie, but because I'm a tank, um, I can take more damage than them. Let me just do a little bit of inventory management real quick. Um, the key to being successful in Minecraft Vault Hunters is to really be, um, is to really use your inventory to the maximum so that you can spend as much time looting as possible. So now we're going to go down to the bottom section and you can see we have the funny skulls. These are the, the funny skulls come in different uh, colors and these are the white funny skulls and they're just as funny as the black funny skulls because at the end of the day um, they are both funny skulls and I like every funny skull so we're going to take these funny skulls with us out of the vault and into our home. There's so many chests in this vault that I don't have enough space um, to, I, there's just too much, too many items for me to take in this vault home with me. But I'm going to do my best with my remaining uh, five minutes left on the timer. For some reason, uh, Johnny Tar is saying mushroom. Um, oh, I think, please take it. I think that he has a mushroom that he's going to bring home to add to our mushroom collection. And that makes me that makes me really excited because we're going to get to add to the mushroom collection. Okay guys, we just found um, a really tough uh, section of the vault and it looks like it's going to have some um, enemies but they can't do any damage to me because I'm pretty strong. So we're just going to, um, we're going to try to speed through this section because we don't have a whole lot of time left in the vault. Um, let's just take care of these zombies and let's look for the boss because these, uh, these little dungeon areas always have a boss. So we're going to take care of this guy and then we're going to get out of here because the boss likes to drop, likes to drop some really strong items. See, we just picked up a vault totem and that's a pretty strong item. So we're going to take that back with us and we're going to grab some coins on the way out. But um, we don't have a whole lot of time left, unfortunately. I would love to full loot this uh, section of the vault, but because I was um, busy um, in other sections of the vault, um, I don't have time to. But um, that's just the that's just the, the way that vault hunters uh, works sometimes. 
So let's get out of the vault now and then uh, get home with our loot. So this is why we leave the blocks marking our path home because I was able to, because I saw these blocks, I was able to know exactly which way to go uh, to get out of the vault. And it looks like, it looks like Johnny Tar has been here because of those blocks right there, but that's why I, I put a tail on this block, not because I'm a furry, but because that tail on the block will let me know which way to go. Um, and the cool thing is that Johnny Tar um, has marked these blocks right here uh, with, a, with a waypoint thing that's really helping me uh, get out of the vault. Um, and I'm not really sure what he's doing here, but he's kind of a clown because I have the teleportation uh, device which lets me teleport. Um, but let me just, um, let me show him my, my loot and then I'm gonna pick that up. Um, I kind of want some of these uh, items, so these are some really cool torches, and I, it would be a shame if we just left them here. So let me just uh, get rid of the, I think the, the mossy stone bricks can go, and maybe the olive stone bricks. So now let's leave the vault and we can see we got 12,026 uh, experience from this vault um, and we killed six creepers which gave us 336 experience and then we also were able to slay um, some of the stronger creepers which gave us a little bit uh, more experience but we killed more regular uh, creepers so that's why those are um, important so let's claim our loot and let's uh, open up our loot crate and let's uh, Johnny Tar I mean my friend uh, picked uh, picked up my okay so there's my loot crate um, whenever I get my loot crate, I like to go back here, and then I like to uh, LARP as a uh, as a ravenous uh, dog who has just caught their prey, and then I like to open it up like that. Um, that's a lot of loot right there, and I'm really excited to um, to I'm really excited to um, pick it up but my inventory is full. So um, let me just place down some of this stuff real quick. Um, and it looks like Johnny Tar, I mean, my friend has picked up my loot. But it's okay, I know he's gonna, I know he's gonna give it back to me because he's my friend. So yeah, guys, that was a great uh, vault, and um, I'm really looking forward uh, to our next uh, vault. Let's um, check out some of the new mushrooms uh, when we get a chance, guys. Hey guys, so, um, now I want to show you guys something really cool. So I have uh, I have Mr. Mr. Jonathan Tarsworth at the top of this um, stack of minerals up here, and I'm gonna tell him to mine all of it. So let me just count him down uh, real quick. So um, now he's going to start mining all of the minerals and these are a bunch of minerals that I've um, that I've uh, 
I've, I've uh, mined throughout the series, and and he's really doing a great job at uh, mining uh, these minerals. And um, it looks like he's not going to mine those ones up there, but that's probably because um, he is just practicing a little bit of. Uh, Oh, actually, no. Okay, no. He's not going to go for them. I think he's discriminating against, um, I think that's a little bit of a chromatic iron patch up there. Um, I would really appreciate it if he mined uh, all of the minerals, but I'm not going to tell um, my friend how to live uh, his life. Um, so, um, this is really cool, and I wonder um, how many uh, how many uh, diamonds he got from that. I'm really looking forward to um, having a lot of uh, diamonds now. Is he gonna? So we didn't get any diamonds. Guys, this is a this is a tragedy. We're gonna have to work a little bit harder to get some diamonds.